Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to customize the Spotlight Shopify theme in 2023. Of course, the Spotlight theme offers a dynamic and visually engaging design, perfect for businesses of course that look into highlight their products or services. And in this tutorial, of course, we will guide you through the essential steps to personalize your Spotlight uh, theme and make it distinctly yours. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we will have to go and access your Shopify admin. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section, and simply, you will have to type shopify.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll be taken to their home screen or main page. Here, make sure to scroll down uh, to learn more information about Shopify if you don't know much about it and familiarize yourself with it as an example. And of course, if you're interested to see the pricing, here's it. You can see the pricing of it. You can pause the video and check it all by your own, the pricing and the features that comes with it. This is monthly and this yearly. And if you have an account, of course, you can simply go and click on login to login into your account if you have an account. As you can see, you'll find this here at the top right corner. If you don't have an account, click on start a free trial to start your accounts. For me, I'm just, I'll just click on login. This will log me right into my store because I already logged in into it. So it didn't ask me to enter any credentials or something like that. Once I am here, as you can see, I am at my admin dashboard. Here, of course, make sure to finish this setup guide if you just created your accounts. Uh, it's nine tasks. It's very simple to finish, like adding your first products, customize your online store. This is what we'll do in this tutorial, customizing our online store. We'll be able to add even custom domain, add sharing details, name your store, set up payment providers, set up your shipping rates, and finally pick a plan, then remove your store password. Of course, if you just start your free trial, you will have three days free trial on every store that you created and you will be able to create unlimited stores as long as the last one is an active you i guess you'll not be able to have more than three active stores at the same time because you have just your free trial or something like that but for us what we care about simply on this tutorial is simply go into this list panel click on online store here and this will take you right away to the themes page if you are not at the themes page once you click on online store click on themes as simple as that that will take you right away here to the themes page. Now you'll have to go and choose the spotlight theme or your spotlight theme. Of course, if you don't have it here on the theme library, you can simply go and click on add the theme to add your spotlight theme as a zip file, or you can add it from GitHub by connecting your GitHub, or simply go and click on visit the theme store and try to find here a spotlight theme that suits your needs. Of course, there are some free themes as an example, and there are some paid ones. So depending on whatever suits you, you can go and check all the themes. If you find like a good theme, free or paid, if you want, if you're willing to pay for it, as you can see, because the paid ones will have like different variants if you want to choose from, and free will have just basic stuff. So choose whatever suits you. If you're willing to pay, of course, paid are uh, normally better. So choose whatever suits you. As an example, once you choose it, you will find this here downloading on the theme library. You'll have to wait like one minute or something like that, depending on your Wi-Fi. And you'll find it there. Once you have your Spotlight uh, theme there, make sure to click on Customize to customize that Spotlight theme. Once you click on Customize, of course, you'll find yourself at the screen. And as you can see, our screen is divided into three parts. We have the middle part, which is going to be for a preview. Every change that we made will be able to preview it here. And the left and the right part just for customization. So before we start, as you can see, they are giving you some keyboard shortcuts, which are very, very, very useful to remember. We have the Control Z for Indo, Control Y for Redo, Control S for Save, and Control Shift I for Toggle Inspector. Those two, I guess everybody knows what those two for Indo and Redo. Uh, for Indo, as you can see, or as example, if you make a change, let's say, as an example, this header announcements bar, which is this first one, welcome to our store. If we delete it, and uh, we regret that deletion. Uh, and as an example, we want to get it back. 
we want to undo, we can simply go and get this back by clicking on Control Z, and as you can see, it will go back. But as an example, if we make a change, as an example, it just deletes both those. Let's just delete this announcement bar, and even let's see if there's like any other bar that you can delete. Maybe this. You can delete this and even this. And as you can see, we regret the changes. Now, if we click on uh, Control Z, as you can see, it will go back. But if we click on Control Y, it will like just get get us back before we click on Indo. So it might be a bit confusing, but once you get used to it, it will be very simple. So redo just uh, lets you do what you undo, and that's it. Now, of course, here on this left panel, we'll be able to customize three things, uh, sections, uh, theme settings, and up in bits. So here in sections, you'll be able to customize your settings depending on whatever you want. Of course, from header to template and footer. On the theme settings, you'll be able to customize the logo as example. So it just it is a logo here and choose this one, click on done. And as you can see, the preview will show here in a moment. Yeah, as you can see, you'll be able to change the logo width, for example, make it as big as possible. Let's just see how it's going to look, as you can see, like that. And you can even remove it at all. If you want to do that, you can even add like some focal points if you want to. Other than that, of course, you'll be able to customize the colors. So customize the colors uh, palette to match your brand preferences, depending on your needs. You can even, other than colors, customize like the typography. And here, uh, you'll be able to set the fonts and the styles for heading, body text, and other elements. If you want to uh, customize just some specific block, like this block as an example, just simply click on that. And as you can see, you'll be able, on this right panel, to change it however you want. You'll be able to change the background image, the hidden, uh, hidden size, subheading, uh, and a lot of other stuff that you can customize by your own. Of course, I cannot go through all of that, because if I did, uh, it will take more than one, one hour. So basically for you, you can go and like download the free uh, theme and just try everything on it until you have like a basic information or until you familiarize yourself with the customization uh, options. And of course, just go back to your uh, spotlight themes and edit whatever you want on it. You can even embed some uh, apps. You can find all the apps here in the app store. Add whatever app you want, like payments provider apps, uh, social media apps, AI chat apps, whatever you want once you finish everything make sure to go and click on save at the top right corner and before going live uh, make sure to test your store uh, test the functionality with navigation and checkout process to ensure a seamless customer experience and once you uh, are satisfied with the changes make sure to click publish again at the top right corner and make your customization live of course you'll not be able to do that unless you remove the password and you'll not be able to remove the password unless you choose a plan so make sure to have a plan and then publish your store and you'll be good to go so if you reached this point of this video congratulations you've successfully personalized your spotlight shopify theme in 2023 and of course your store now reflects your brand unique styles and offering so keep an eye out for new features and updates to further of course enhance or for further enhancements for your customer shopping experience so this is going to be it for me today thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video